Hello family, welcome again to my channel, Talking to God with Noye. I'm so happy and I'm so grateful talking to you all today. Thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you to as many as that keeps commenting on my video. Thanks for the like. I'm so grateful. The Lord has brought you to this channel for a reason. And that reason will be accomplished in your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Today's topic is use your gifts without apology or unapologetically use your gifts. I'll be right back. Welcome back. The Lord has not created any of us without a gift. Or better still, God created all of us with our uniqueness, with our unique gifts. You have a gift. I have mine. We all have our gifts. What is that gift that you've been hiding? What is that gift that you've been shying away from? What is that gift that you have been swallowing deep down? Do you know that that gift can put food on your table? Do you know that that gift can take you to higher grounds? Why are you hiding your gifts? Why are you putting these gifts under your pillow? Why are you burying your gifts under the ground? Some of us have buried these gifts because of situations, circumstances, and what have you. Others have also buried theirs because of society, education, or what people would say. And that has made you to be in a shell, like a secret place where nobody can find these gifts. Where nobody can see these great gifts that the Lord has given to you. Today, I'm here to tell you, bring it on. Bring out that gift. The Lord has given you that gift for a reason. The Lord has seen that you will glorify him with that gift. Today, I want you to look deep inside of you. The Lord has bet lots of good things inside of you. Why not focus? on the riches that the Lord has given you. What do I mean by riches? Not money, not houses, not cars, but these gifts that the Lord has given to you and I is more than riches, is more than gold, is more than silver. Today, I want you to start making use of that uniqueness. I want you to start making use of these gifts that the Lord has given to you. The devil has seen it that that gift will bring that light. That the name of the Lord will be glorified if you bring it on. The devil has seen it that if you bring out those gifts, God himself will be exalted. And that is why the devil keeps speaking to you, keeps telling you, you know you're not the head in this place. How will your gifts represent you? Your gift will not be shown to people. My brother, my sister, I'm here to talk to you. You don't have to be the head in that department to glorify God. Let me give an example. Choristers, for instance. You see them? Some of them shy away from coming to church. Some of them shy away from attending um, the choristers meeting because there is a head that represents them. The devil keeps telling them, why won't you be the one to hold the mic on a Sunday? Why will you be at the back? Why another person is being represented? You ought not to be in this department. And before you know it, they start shying away. You must not be the head in that department to glorify God. Trust me, anywhere you are, bring it on. The Lord's name will be glorified. Your gifts could also be cooking, making hair, there are so many to be mentioned. Some of you know how to take care of kids. Some of you are very eloquent in speaking English. Do you know that you can bring these things to the table and you become so great? Why do you feel intimidated seeing others doing these things? When you have it inside of you, don't let the devil bring you down. Don't let the devil intimidate you with his words. I'm here to speak to you. I'm here telling you to bring it on. Get off that shell. The Lord has deposited something inside of you. Loads of riches. 
Let me tell you my story. When I was serving my country after the university, we had a gathering, gathering of Christians, like a church. We usually gathered as Christians to call upon God every Sunday. I've always known God, but wasn't too close to Him like I am today. I just knew God from a distance. There is this man of God. He is like a pastor to us. On Saturday evening, before the Sunday service, he beckoned on me and he was like, I would like you to lead praise and worship on Sunday. And I'm like, whoa. Me? Of all the holies of holies I see in, 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 in our local government, like in the church, why me? I'm not always attending the, the midweek service. I'm not always attending the Bible study. I'm moving from one place to another. The only day I attend our gathering is on Sunday. So why me? I was like, no, 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 Papa, I'm not interested. No, 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 no. And he said, no, that something is telling him that I should be the person to lead the praise and worship. I said, okay, since it's about God, let me not always run away. He has been faithful. Like I said, I've always known God. Fast forward to Sunday. They called me out. When I stepped out, I was, you know, shaking a bit. But then I told myself, this is God. Why? I closed my eyes. And when I started this ministration, I felt God himself come down. I was singing worshiping god calling him names that he deserved i sang for almost 30 minutes non-stop and i never repeated the song one after another one after another then i crowned it up with thanksgiving when i opened my eyes i saw how everyone was staring at me after church, this papa came to my room and he was like, Noye, why have you been hiding? Noye, do you know what you carry? Like, I literally didn't know what happened. The Holy Spirit took over. That was when I started asking him, how was it? Did I minister well? He said, what? You did like you've been hiding. There is something about you. There is something you carry. Why not come out of your shell? He said he had goosebumps all over his body listening to me. He said he felt God himself in that atmosphere. Like I said, I've always known God. I've always known there is this thing inside of me. But how do I go about it, you know? How do I just, you know, people have known me like, people have always known me as, you know, this playful type, you know, socializing and all that. How do I now step out to say, ah, I can sing, I can worship God, I can preach, you know. I just, there's this, it is the devil speaking. The devil is trying to shy you away from that which glorifies God. So today I'm here to tell you, after this, after listening to me today, please come out of this shell. Come out, provided it will glorify God. Put God first and every other thing will take its place. Are you worried? Have you been asking for one or two and you're yet to get it? And because of that, you keep hiding these gifts. You keep swallowing these gifts. A gift that can take you to greater heights. Come out of your shell today. What is that talent you have? It, it must not be church. It could be making hair like I said. It could be other activities. By so doing, you can also put food on your table. By so doing, you could come out of depression. And you coming out of depression is you having peace with God. Once you're out of depression, you know that yes, God is truly your father. But because you're depressed, even the things of God irritates you. Let me stop here. Take a quiet time. Have a rethink. Think of those gifts. 
What is that which you know you can do better? Like I said, the Lord has created us differently. We all have our special gifts. Come out of that shell today. Trust me, you will be glad you did. Are you new to this channel? May the good Lord bless you for subscribing. Please drop your comments. Stay glued to this channel. Invite your friends. Share these videos. And most importantly, subscribe and drop your comments. May the Lord bless you. Bye.